Some hitters land with the toe slightly open. And that's a guy that maybe has, you know, stiff lower half, maybe there's no flexibility in the hips. And that's okay, as long as that heel will drive straight down to give a firm base. If you land with the toe slightly open, you have to make sure that it doesn't open up or creep in as you start into rotation. Some hitters keep it squared up, closed, and they can drive straight down, and they might have just a little bit more flexibility in the hips, which is okay. And if we'll focus in on the front foot, we can gather more power and we can help us be a little bit more shorter and quicker to the ball if we utilize this front side. This is a great drill to put together. And what we've done is just put a small bat inside of our stride foot. And this is gonna help us stay square on contact and not open up so early. So to demonstrate, I'm in my stance. Ball will work right down the middle on this drill or we can work away in my stance, and when I stride, I want to step slightly over this little device or the little bat that we have here. But the key is, when I stride, we always want to stride light and on the ball of our foot, because we know that when we drive that heel or drive the foot into the ground at foot plant, that's what rotate, starts to rotate the hips and we can execute the swing. But the mistake that a lot of guys make is, they, when they go into foot plant, they start to open on foot plant or when they drive the heel or drive the foot down it opens when they start to swing now you have the kneecap the toe and the hip is going to follow out of the zone so when they swing they're a guy that's really going to fall over a lot so to exaggerate to really help that out when we go down into foot plant imagine your foot being in you know concrete or or a cement block or something that it can, can stay and, and feel planted inside, inside the ground and not open and kick the bat out of the way. That's not what we want. We do not want to kick the bat out. We want to make sure that we don't hit it, drive straight down when we finish our swing. So as you can see, I'm slightly square. My kneecap is down. And now when I execute in slow motion, when I drive, as you can see right here, the backside starts and the hand start to the baseball. You can see that hip and that knee staying really square as the backside drives everything open and through to create a lot of power. That helps me stay on it, through it, before I open up too quick and now I'm around the ball and I will not be consistent.